Hello my dear friends, this is Advocate Nidhi Singh, founder of NRI Legal Services. Today giving you a brief overview of one of our services which is Title Search Service. We at NRI Legal Services have been dedicatedly providing legal, financial and all property related services to the large Indian diaspora based across the globe for the last 22 years now. What we have seen is that most of the overseas citizens of India generally have or they inherit a piece of land or property in India from their parents or grandparents. But only a handful have any real knowledge due to their long absence from India. Almost none have any updated ownership documents or have ever done a title search of the property upon which they have a legal right. They are dependent on relatives or so-called trusted friends, caretakers or people in actual possession of the property who for vested interest sell them inform them of the real situation and would actually benefit for keeping them away from gaining any knowledge or control over the property so that they can keep their own control on that property away from the distant overseas owner. Now why title search or possession of all ownership documents related to your property is extremely important or in fact this is the primary service that we at NRI Legal Services have offered to almost all our clients and they need this first to kickstart anything related to their properties in India and why. Number one, let's say your property in India has been trespassed in your absence by someone. If you do not have the title documents, you cannot even register a simple police complaint informing that it is your property that has been trespassed. Number two, your property is in the possession, let's say, of a caretaker or relative or uh, you know who now refuses to vacate <clears throat> so you need to approach a competent court of law and to do that you have to prove that they are not the real owners but you are and you need all your title uh, records clearly demonstrating that and without that you cannot exercise any legal right on your property number three the property exists in the name of your parents or grandparents and you need to get it transferred obviously to your name for even the simple transfer to enable your lawyer or your representative you would need the entire history the title records and everything of the previous owners number four you need to sell your property let's say now in the selling involves a lot of documents to verify that the actual title rests with you and your family and this is part of the title search report and additionally uh, part of the <laughs> part of the title search to sell your property you need a valuation report so that you can ascertain whether the buyer who is offering you a price is offering you the right price or not. This valuation can be done separately but if you order a title search report it is absolutely an integral part of that as well. Number five, you also need to know if there are any encumbrances on the property, if you need to pay any property tax or are there any government dues, let's say if there's any litigation pending, if there's any disputes on the property, you need to find this after you do a proper title search, you can get all of this information as well. Number six, you should be aware that the buyer of your property will be doing a complete due diligence to verify and ascertain that the title that rests with you is not insufficient, is not a defective title and indeed it is legally valid. So for that also, for the buyer's due diligence, you need to have all your documents in order and updated. Number seven, again, <clears throat> there are some properties which have tenants. Though the tenants are bound by rental contracts or rent laws in India, they cannot claim any legal ownership or possession rights on the tenanted property that is in their possession but due to an insufficient or an inadequate title of the owner the tenants can take full advantage of it as they know that if the owner has to go to the court of law to get them evicted he has to prove unequivocally, unequivocally ownership rights on that property number eight we also see in a number of cases with us that in those properties where a caretaker or a person in possession continues to keep the property for a long number of years in his control 
and possession, even though he has no ownership rights, he can, after a period of 12 years, claim adverse possession, thus making sure you lose your ownership rights. Now that any person who you have given the property to live in or take care or dwell must never take that advantage. Number nine, you also require a title search if you are one of the many, many owners of the land or the property and you want to partition your share, keep it in your control, manage it or alienate your individual share subsequently. I hope it is clear that for your property in India, while you are living overseas <coughs> and making sure your property does not get illegally transferred, occupied, sold or get disputed, it is imperative that you conduct a comprehensive title search and always keep all your documents regarding ownership and possession in your name such as the title deeds itself, the Jamabandis, the mutation, the intkal, the satbara, the will, the agreements, electricity bills, water bills, telephone bills, anything that proves your ownership and possession. This you can do by obtaining a certified documents from the concerned registering authority or revenue offices. In addition, you must always be in touch with your neighbors or friends so that they may be able to notify you in case they notice any activity. Now, how can we help you while you're overseas to get all of this information? We at NRI Legal Services have a complete gamut of offerings related to search, retrieval, analysis and review of all the legal documents and public records relating to any real estate asset, may it be agriculture, residential or commercial. We provide an exhaustive and an in-depth search of public records to determine and confirm a property's legal ownership. We also obtain certified copies of the latest title records from the concerned authorities to verify and validate the ownership status of that particular property and provide the same to our clients. We have a team of specialists. They also help physically verify the property by visiting the property, actually visiting the property and finding the on-ground status of the current occupant and how they own the said property or possess. Photographs of the property are also included as part of the comprehensive report we provide to our clients based on the title search undertaken. Now some reports people say are available online in a few areas across India but these are primarily insufficient and in most cases they are not updated therefore not allowing the clients to get an in-depth overview we obtain documentation current as well as old records to have a complete understanding of the history of ownership over the years our firm also undertakes the translation which is a very important part from the vernacular to the english for those who do not understand the local languages Suppose an illegal transfer or an invalid sale or exchange has been committed. In that case, the client is updated about the same and given legal advice to take timely action to challenge the same and restore their rights over the properties. Now, what would uh, typically be the list of things that are included in the title search report? The details that are included in the title search report that we provide or should uh, have if you order it from anywhere else for the property that is searched <coughs> they are brief description of the property the actual title or name of the owners of the property calculation of the total area of the property estimation of the size of shares in case there are more than one owner co-owners of the property Procurement of all the certified documents pertaining to the ownership. Information on the entire history of the property. Then uh, all the transfers done, all the sales done, any, any change of hands, documents pertaining to that. Conducting a search to know whether there's a mortgage, is there any encumbrance or government dues towards the property. And also finding out if there is any litigation pending, some, if someone is uh, disputing or having any claims on that property, documents related to the possession of the land, 
complete guidance on what further steps can be taken to protect the property. Up-to-date photographs and videos of the property. Uh, uh, property uh, history uh, with complete, uh, complete and comprehensive knowledge. Ensuring that all the property ownership documents are legal, certified and in order. Valuation of the property in which both market values and government values should be listed to bring you up to date with the correct price of the property. Valuation should be obtained through uh, government approved valuators. Now to do all of this, what are the records that we scrutinize in a typical title search? Depending on the area or the kind of property, the general uh, places are we search the complete records in the sub registrar's office. If it's revenue, then Patwari, Talati, from where we get the Jamabandi, Sadbara. Basically, the entire record of the revenue department. The title search also provides information regarding any kind of problem that we can foresee. So, my dear friends, my advice to the overseas diaspora is that it's imperative that if you have an asset in India, you must conduct a comprehensive title search and get it periodically updated. If there is any adverse situation concerning your property, your lawyer can then quickly intervene and give you the right advice after reviewing your ownership documents. They can counsel you in the correct direction through which the property can be claimed back by following the appropriate legal remedies available in the Indian laws through the procedures of the court or the law and the law. Remember, you are responsible for safeguarding your assets and only a proactive approach by you works best and saves you from trouble just like the health of your body, your finances, it's the same with your properties. Thank you.